hey guys welcome back so guys we are continuing our code igniter tutorials for beginners and now guys we are on the delete option so guys, in this video we will be doing about how to delete the data from the database okay so there are two methods we will be deleting using one get method and one more method that will be delete method okay so guys let's get started with it so first we will follow up with the get method okay so as you can see that get method means direct URL should be called. So let us just copy this and create a URL for this over here, this delete button. So this delete button is nothing but this delete button, which is a red button over here. So guys, those delete button. And now let's from edit to I'll give delete done. And I am passing the ID into that. So guys, now let's save this and now let us see the output of it. So the URL should be like forward slash delete with the ID. Let me refresh. You can see on the fourth ID, I am going to edit this fourth ID. So let me click on delete with the, you can see the ID called student delete with the ID four. Okay. So this is the, so now let's set a route for this. Let's copy this and go to routes web.php and inside this we are going to set the route so guys, let us assign the route routes where i am going to delete by get method okay so get function where you are going to pass this and delete where instead of this four you are going to assign the num so num means number value integer value should be accepted only and after this you are going to create a controller for it so let's oops let's copy the above controller and mention over here and let's create one function called delete so this delete function where you are going to pass so what is this this is nothing but whatever data you are sending from the url so it should send with a function also right so for that sake we are sending this dollar one so this is how we assign in coding writer. so let's go to our student controller and create a delete function so let's go to student controller and here guys so now over here we will create a public function and delete function and inside this we need the dollar id what we have sent so let's keep this dollar id and you can assign direct null also and now guys um we need to do the code for this so first we have to call our model so as you know we are how to call this model so let's paste that model student student model if you're using this student model directly you have to assign it at the top so how did i create this model it's over here okay so this is the model where we are taking all the columns field and the primary key done so let's get back and then let's go to a delete function and start the code so now we have to copy this and call the delete function delete function and with the help of dollar id so if you pass this dollar id inside this delete function it will go and check the primary key and delete directly from the database table okay so after this i want to return and redirect back to same page so you have learned redirect two functions so in this video we will be learning about redirecting thing like back to same page so reader return and redirect function back function and then with the message so we'll keep this message name as status and here we'll tell student deleted successfully done and now guys let us save and see what happens now so let's save this and let's get back let me just go back and refresh the page so now guys if i click delete the data will be get deleted so before deleting, I will add some data called dummy one. Let's enter some data over here. Phone number and BCA. So dummy at gmail.com. Let's save. And you can see that data is added. Now let's delete this. So it is ID number seven. So I have, I'm going to click on delete. So let's click on delete. It will return and redirect back to the same page also. So let me click on delete. Okay, so student data, data deleted successfully and there is no ID number seven, right? Where it got deleted also and return to return and redirect to the same page, okay, where we were. So this is how we delete the data using get method. 
so guys now i want to show you how to delete with the delete method also so there is nothing much in that so you just need to change from this get to post so let me just make one more thing over here where i'll give delete method okay so delete method we will be using so let me create one more td where inside this i am going to create one form as simple and this form will be method is equal to post let's give is equal to where this will be post method and inside this you are going to assign the url so base underscore url inside this base url where you'll be calling your student forward slash your delete method will give okay because delete we have already used over here so let me just assign the delete method where forward slash i'm going to concatenate the id whatever you have sending for that so let's concatenate the same thing that's it and now once it is submitted i mean done let's call the delete method so input tag you are going to assign where we will keep this as hidden okay and uh, we have to send the value name name will be underscore method so this is the way how we have to send the method from your encoding nighter where and value where you are going to tell in capital delete so for update and all put method you have typing put right so now over here you have to type delete method okay delete and uh, once it is done that time what you'll do give a button and tell delete delete and we will give the type is equal to submit and i want to give the class for designing so let's use the same class for it let's copy and place the same class done and now let's see the output of it first let me just refresh the page okay so you can see that delete method we are going to delete so now let's main concept of delete method how will you use this so let's go to route and create a route for it let's copy this and go to your routes.php let me just paste it below and let's copy this so let me just give a space okay so this is a common delete and over here you are going to give d e l e t e delete okay so this is a delete function where you are going to send the same url with the just few changes so you are going to just add this delete method and the same you are going to send the number and where a delete function you are going to use the same thing okay so controller will be the same only the url i have changed but the route is delete so this is the delete method we are deleting the data and same it goes to this controller only and this function will execute and delete the data and redirect back so let's move to our index page where you can see now everything is set guys so let us test with this also okay so let's refresh and let me add some more detail like a a a so let's just add some number save okay inserted and let me add some more detail save and now guys let me delete this id number 8 and let's leave this id number 9 so i'm on id number 8 i'm going to delete with this delete method so before let's click on this delete and you can see that student data deleted successfully so you can see that id number is not there id number 9 is available so guys we have done in two methods of deleting the data using get and delete method too so guys in this video that's it and let's see next video about how to confirm and delete data in coding nighter for so guys thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share